everyone, this is Emily and I'd like to share with you my ePortfolio that I made with PebblePad through the OAI Faculty Fellows for ePortfolio program. This is the homepage of my portfolio and uh, what I've done on this page, I think it's really important to note that I've directed users as to how to view the portfolio and its contents. PebblePad isn't really intuitive in terms of navigating through the pages up at the top. It has this weird little arrow thing. So you have to tell people about using that. Um, this portfolio I was hoping to use as my promotion and tenure portfolio, but I've decided to take that in a different direction. So I was able to make this portfolio one that's organized around themes of my work instead of your traditional teaching, research, and service categories. So I included um, a, a page on my approach and philosophy. And on this page, I think it's a good example to show that I've used this really lovely image that I found Creative Commons licensed on Flickr as a background. And all of my pages have that kind of big header background and then text below. The themes of my work um, begin with writing and publishing. And so this page is a reflection of how the rest of my portfolio looks in terms of the themes. On the, in the left-hand column, I have a reflection, and then in the right-hand column, I have links to evidence um, such as publications, presentations on that theme, service, professional development, and the other categories that you'd find on your CV. My student learning page is a good example of how you can embed YouTube videos. So here um, is this very unflattering still of my face, um, but embedding this YouTube video was really easy and um, it's just called in and you just have to have the link and put it in there. And then the rest of this page is organized in the same manner. Presentations, publications, etc. and a reflection on the left. Now I'm going to use this arrow to navigate over to the right to see the remaining two pages that are that comprise my portfolio. So here on the reflective practice page, you'll notice that um, there's another seemingly video, but unfortunately this one is not a YouTube video. It's on Vimeo. So Vimeo is not able to be embedded, and so I had to take a screenshot and kind of hack it and, and put up the screenshot there, um, and then include the other a link to that particular presentation on the page. And again, it's organized in the very same way. And then you'll see down here my badge for best hack. I guess it's appropriate that it's on this page because of the hack I used. And then finally, my uh, CV page, way over here to the right, links out to a Dropbox document, a read-only Word file that I've shared publicly. The reason I did that is that PebblePad makes you go through many clicks to download any item and it's really unwieldy for any user. The other thing about this page is if I had just inserted the text box and put in the CV here, it would have been a, a gray stripe and then the rest of this would have been white. So I had to kind of hack that a little bit and put lots of spaces or ret a heavy um, hard returns here in the text box so that the color was consistent throughout the whole page. So um, thanks for taking a peek at my portfolio and um, enjoy.